All right, guys, welcome to this week's vlog. I am so sorry I'm not being very regular with these vlogs. I literally have like three vlogs worth of content lined up to post on, or on Instagram, on YouTube. I just have not had any time to work on this between just my personal life and work. I've been so busy that when I do have downtime, I do not want to sit in front of a computer again. So I promise soonish I should be back to posting pretty regularly. My work load should settle down a little bit in, in a couple months, like quicker than a couple months, but it'll be better in a couple months. But um, yeah, so I'm posting this. This is our lesson vlog from like a while ago now, but still relevant to channel because it's still in um, chronological order to what is being posted. So this um, lesson was really, really good. We worked a lot on bending lines and trying to get striding right and working on adding a little bit, which I could not do. And then also worked on riding the stride and just letting the jumps come up. Because in this lesson, you'll see in the very beginning, I start really overriding between fences. As in, like, I know we're going to a jump, so I just go directly to the jump as opposed to riding my track and keeping a, an even pace and just following along with Happy to the jump instead of pushing him. So we worked a lot on that in the second half of this lesson. So you guys will see that, and I will also come in and do a voiceover, but glad to be vlogging. Hopefully it'll be more regular. If not, please forgive me. It will be more regular in the coming months. So we started jumping and I knew he was looking at it so I backed off and I should have added leg and then here we got a really nice stride to it but that was kind of what happened on the first one. I feel like after the rain, he rode really well through the rain, he really hated it as you could tell by the head shaking he was doing but he rode really well through it. This canter was really nice and forward. I just was like riding directly to these jumps and I wasn't like having any thought to like getting there on a nice stride or I mean, I was thinking a lot about getting there on a nice stride, but I wasn't actually really doing anything to get us there. I was just cutting corners and racing around, and at this point in time, Happy's not really capable of that because I'm not capable of supporting him. So you see, this this first one just went a little special, and we come back and do it again, and I think what really made the difference for me was when my trainer told me, look, you're not riding your track, you're just riding to the jumps and you're just looking directly to the jumps and that's all you're doing and it's causing you issues because you're not actually picking the right track to get the right stride. So when she said that, she always has these like little nuggets I feel like in my lessons that I'm like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. So like here, I kept getting a bad stride to this on the cross rails, but it was because I kept, when it was a cross rail I mean but I kept cutting that corner off the rail way too soon. And like here, I tried to be a lot more round with that corner and we hit such a nice stride. 
Something that we've worked on in recent lessons, which you'll see that vlog too, is having me sit more into a half seat that kind of brushes my saddle, so like a little bit of a lighter seat. Um, and then from there, I try to not drive after each jump. And that is like one of my biggest things is I sit and drive and that causes him lots of issues. And I need to stay very light and very soft in my seat with him. So that's something we have been working on, but it's something you'll see in this lesson that I'm doing that I'm not actually being very light after jumps and I'm sitting and pushing him, which is causing situations like what you just saw. In those last couple, we were picking better tracks, so I feel like sometimes I get stuck in just the same track, and I literally did that like garnet and black jump three times and just kept getting that horrible distance, and my trainer was like, why don't you just pick a different track? So I went in the inside of, like, you can't see it, but there's a small purple jump, um, our pink jump on the other side of the arena. I went on the inside of that and actually got the perfect stride, so I feel like sometimes I don't... I just think like, oh, this is the correct, quote unquote, right way to do it, and this is the right path to take, and I shouldn't, you know, I should just do that path, and I don't think like, well, maybe because we're getting to it on a half stride, I should cut a stride out. It's the things that just don't occur to me because I just haven't been jumping long enough. So this was a really good lesson for us to just learn to like pick a better, a better turn, better track, better everything, and like here I think we hit, yeah, that one's really nice. Um, so yeah, I, I think this lesson was like a really good turning point in my brain and then after this lesson, which I have vlogs for this, like I said, I have so many lined up, um, after this lesson I tried to work every other week, so like I have a lesson every other week, so the other weeks that I didn't jump, I tried to work on these lines. So she has always has like an outside line set up for her courses and so I usually try to set those to cross rails or two feet and just work over them and work on getting in and getting out of the line and not having um, these major catastrophes of whatever we're doing. So it was, it's was it been good practice and I think it's really helped me gain some confidence on how to pilot him because I do think a lot of times I just kind of stop piloting him and expect him to know what to do and he's just like I don't know what you're asking and I don't exactly know what to do and he he really does try his hardest to figure it out but I think when I'm there and I can actually tell him what to do like here we started going he was starting to get like we were trying to add eight here so that was actually a seven a direct seven and we were trying to do an eight and it just wasn't working out for us but we were trying and here I, I pulled him straight because he kept starting to anticipate the bending line so we were both getting very tired here as well too, so this was kind of towards the end and you can see he starts to get a little more pacey and a little bit more on his forehand, which is okay, you know, it is what it is. He's getting tired, I'm getting tired, and we're not supporting each other as well. But yeah, this was our lesson uh, a few weeks ago. I think it went really well, had a lot of really good light bulb moments with him, and he's just, you know, getting better because I'm getting better. So I'm really, really pleased with him, and I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the vlogs I have queued up.